This video is sponsored by Exter. More about them at the end of the sketch. Hi there, hello, thanks for meeting me out here. Yeah, sure, I mean, can we go inside? Maybe it's really cold out here. No, we can't, that's not even possible. It is possible, though, it is. Not for this new activity I invented, it's not. What are you talking about? So here's the idea, right, you and me? We're gonna make a person together. Oh, that's not, you and I can't do that together. Sure we can, we're gonna make a person out of snow. That's not how people are made, it's a much weirder and grosser process than that. Well, this person I'm talking about wouldn't be alive necessarily, they'd be made of snow. I mean, check it out, I actually made one already, right, out, right, out, right, out, right over there. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a man I made. That's not, that's not what people look like. Yeah, that's what people look like, I decided. That thing is barely anthropomorphic, what, I, what is the activity you're suggesting here? Okay, so what what you do is you roll up three big balls of snow, right? Isn't snow kind of powdery? Sometimes, yeah, so you gotta wait for the snow to be a little wet, right? You got, you need perfect conditions or this will not work. Okay, already really limiting when this activity can be performed. Hey, what are you guys doing? Now this guy wants to make a person with me, so when it's wet and sticky, that's when we roll our balls together? Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Can I just ask, why does this supposed human have three round, insect-like body sections? I don't understand the question. What, is it like an ant? No, if anything, it would be an uncle, I think. It's a snowman. That's not... Well, we don't need to get too deep in its personal history and backstory. It's just a normal guy. I promise that's not what a normal guy looks like. So once you've stacked these three balls, it's time to shove some eyes into its face. Oh my, what are those, anyway? Those are made of coal. Coal? Yeah, you use coal so the eyes are jet black, just like human eyes. Okay, I feel like your perception of people is a little screwy. Can you see me right now? Yes. Do you think I look like that thing? Well, no. Okay, good. I haven't even put the nose on yet. Oh, you think that's what's missing? Okay. And I've got the perfect thing for us to put as a nose. What is it? The pointiest vegetable there is. Weird way to categorize vegetables. Yeah, you put a carrot as the nose, you know, that works with the bright orange sharp noses that people have. Mmm, you need to see a psychiatrist, maybe. Or maybe an exorcist. Maybe. Now we gotta put your clothes on it. What? Just a hat and a scarf would be okay. You need to sacrifice those to this process and just kind of leave them out there, please. That seems wasteful and also, no. Well, you gotta do it or else we're gonna have a naked man standing over there. That's not a man. Give him your winter gear and leave it outside with him. No. Why not? That thing will still be naked even with a hat and a scarf. No, he won't. If I walk into a room wearing just a hat and a scarf, people won't be like, hey, look at that fully clothed man, you know? Well, that's why we also shove some buttons on to him. Is that what those are? Directly into his thorax. Oh my god. And claw-like sticks for arms, a twig for an unmoving smile. Jeez. Or more coal. Where are you getting all this coal? And then we leave him out here and day by day as the sun beats down on him, he'll melt. Uh. And as he melts, his face will distort into horrifying expressions and we'll watch as he dies and he won't bother me anymore. What are you talking about? Uh, okay, full disclosure. Please. He told me if I gave him a physical form, he'd leave me alone and stop visiting me at night. What are you? Who? My sleep paralysis demon. Oh, okay, that's why it looks- okay, that makes sense. Please help me kill it. Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the astronaut. I'm out here in ad space to talk to you about Exter. Listen, one thing you might not know about this astronaut suit is that it's packed to the brim with freeze-dried ice cream. And that doesn't leave a ton of room for a wallet. That's why I appreciate Exter wallets, which are nice and slim compared to conventional bulky ones. They're also really well designed and thought out. Like if I want to access my cards, I just press a little button and they pop out like they're freaking synchronized swimmers or something. I mean, it feels like my cards choreographed that when I wasn't looking. It seems premeditated. I can't prove anything, but it looks rehearsed. Also, their RFID protection can help protect you against identity theft and skimming, which is a real issue. And speaking of losing everything you own, if you ever lose your extra wallet, you don't even have to worry about it. Exter has these thin little trackers that can help you find your wallet with your phone and vice versa. It also works with voice command and is charged by solar power. That's right, plot twist, I was a charger this whole time. And hey, Exter's running a Christmas gifting sale right now. You can get up to 35% off site-wide with a free gift bag. Just click the link in the description and head on over. Okay, time for some suit ice cream. I need to undress. 